Frosty, new deal, all signed. You must be delighted. Yeah, going to say the old cliches, but yeah, delighted, buzzing, happy, all those emotions. Really, really pleased that we could finally get it over the line and be done now and concentrate on the rest of the season. Something that you maybe don't particularly see at this level between players and clubs is longevity, but you must be really happy to have settled into a new home and, and, and looking ahead to the future now. Definitely, that's it. I feel at home. I feel committed to the club. You do see players either maybe don't make the cut or do a, a Josh Stokes and climb up the league. That is that is obviously the aim, but right now that wasn't on my mind as such. I just wanted to keep playing my football. It was the first club that's really taken me in and shown me you know, the support they have from staff, club members to supporters. So all round I feel wanted and it's a big part of football, the confidence, and I've definitely got that here. You say there about the playing in the football league again, obviously it's something you have done yourself mm -hmm. in, in the past. I guess it's everyone's goal, isn't it, to play yeah. as high as you can. But there is something to be said about just enjoying your in, enjoying your football. And I know you say about it a lot off, off camera and, and to everyone that asks, really, but yeah. you do enjoy it here, don't you? 100%. Uh, it's definitely been my best spell in men's football. The place I've definitely enjoyed playing my football. Granted, it's where I've played, so you know that always helps, and I'm thankful to you know the staff for giving me the minutes and putting in the performances and stuff like that. But yeah, the ambition obviously is to take this club to the next level. There's a good um, good momentum here at the moment. There's definitely positivity that that could happen this year, and who knows? Hopefully, if it doesn't happen this year, then we we go again next year, and well, two years for me now. So yeah. <laughs> This season's been one where you've played all over the place. Sometimes that can almost be detrimental to someone because you can't nail down a starting spot in one area and show what you can do. But I guess it shows, hasn't it, that you've really proved yourself in multiple positions that you, you are a quality player at this level. Yeah, yeah, it depends what the manager's like. Some a lot some managers can see it as a massive positive. You know, the squads aren't massive at, at this level. So you, you do require certain players to play in multiple positions. It's actually a key aspect of teams in this league. Uh, we've we're lucky we have a couple of them in in our squad and um yeah i've always seen it as a negative but i think this season i've definitely matured and i look at it now as more as a positive it's not a oh i'm being moved in the game it's more come on then let's go and do what i've got to do out there to see the game out my mentality's definitely changed and that comes with growing up and playing football and that's definitely what's happened this season you obviously joined at the, towards the end of last season it wasn't as good as things have been this year yeah. but I, you started well yourself personally we, we obviously stayed up and, and yeah. that must have been a big big bonus for you to, to look ahead to this season and here yeah. we are again yeah to be honest when I signed I didn't even think about um, <laughs> like where we could end up mm. being relegated it kind of didn't cross my mind and obviously a few games towards the end it kind of crossed my mind oh we've got to really do something to make sure we, that don't happen and thankfully we did as a group whoever was here at the time stay up and We've kicked on this year, but yeah, I had good moments last season for myself personally, getting good minutes and then staying up was obviously the icing on the cake at that time last year. So yeah, we've kicked on this year and that's a, that's the main thing really. And looking at your career with the shot so far, have you got a standout moment? Uh, I've got a few. Obviously, last season goals meant a lot, scored a couple of important ones this year, but the FA Cup run really, I think that it's not a personal achievement, it's a group achievement and that's that's the aim of the game as a team to thrive and do well together. So yeah, definitely that FA Cup run is the highlight of my probably my career so far. So yeah, hopefully many more of good moments like that to come. You mentioned goals there, we've spoken about it before. You are so close to that <laughs> East Bank goal. Obviously you were very unselfish giving it to, yep. to James to finish, but wow, we've got a lot longer to wait now to get one, haven't we? Well yeah, I've got two more years to try and get one. If I don't get one then guys, I curse that in for me, but no, I'll always put the team first. I think I showed that the other day. I think a lot of people know how desperate I am to score in front of the fans. That end, just a bit of an iconic stand in this league. And, you know, it'd be really nice to get one that end. But it'll come. I'm um, hoping it'll come in the next three games that we've got left this season, starting Saturday. And I'm full of confidence that end. But if, if it's for me to put it on a plate for someone else to get the, the three points, I, I won't hesitate to do that either. And looking ahead to the future, obviously we never know what's going to happen in the summer. We might have a big overhaul. We might keep yeah. most of the same squad. But for you personally, you're now moving into that period of your football career, aren't you? Where you've, you're not really seen as a youngster anymore. No. You're one of the more experienced players. So is is it a big defining moment for you? Maybe this next two years? Definitely, for sure. Um, I think I've come on as a senior player in the last ten games. I think I see myself as a leader on the pitch now. I'm definitely more vocal. I'm definitely. The person on the pitch that's trying to create an atmosphere, trying to keep the lads going. 
Stokesy and Lawrence sometimes don't like me. People <laughs> will say there are star players playing better than me, but I'll always make sure they're at it 100% because I want them to do well, I want the team to do well, and it keeps me on it as well now. I've learned firing other people up actually fires me up as well, and it's definitely something I'll, I'll, look, I'll look to do continuously throughout the next couple of years and, you know, never never know maybe a captain one day, but I don't know if I'll get that anytime soon. But, yeah, who knows what the squad will be next season, but proud of the group this season. Whether it stays the same or it changes, I'm sure the staff will get us ticking the same way again next year. But right now is the focus, so see how the end of play out, see how we play out the rest of this season first. I guess that is a, a point, isn't it, that the squad might change, but is, is that been a bit of a... A, a factor for you and why you've wanted to stay here this, the, the good group that we have this season yeah 100% and obviously the club wanted to keep me as well that was a massive positive I felt wanted like I said I would like to see majority of the squad here next season not my decision I don't know what's going on in the club I, I'm happy that I'm still here next year and I hope there's people willing to follow that and the more obviously the, the further we go this season the closer to promotion if we do get promoted then you know, it might be easier for certain people to make that decision. But right now, I'm happy with the squad we've got and I hope it is as close to this next season as possible. And you seem to have a great relationship with the supporters as well. We've now even heard a chant for you. Yeah. That, that must be a special feeling. It's, it's definitely the first time I've had a chant for me and, and like vocally can hear it. It does mean a lot. Uh, I do enjoy, you know, playing well and then the fans respecting that afterwards. And I think me and the fans have got a mutual respect to... Uh, um, are taken to one another and it doesn't go unnoticed uh i really do appreciate it and they've been superb all season so keep keep it going please <laughs> <laughs> it does help doesn't it it does yeah. get you over the line when mm-hmm. you're it was the other day wasn't it ebb's fleet when we were down to 10 men you were absolutely knackered in the post-match yeah. scenes you were you almost looked dead and you said yeah. you couldn't even celebrate yeah. but it does get you through doesn't it a hundred percent we had um two really good performances and wins prior to that game kind of little setback at the start and we had a hard schedule leading up to that game. They were a good team flying at the time and we showed our class by digging in, sticking it, sticking together. And yeah, the end of that game, like you said, you came up to me first and I couldn't even do a fist pump at the time. That game really did hit me, that one personally, but it was a really satisfying result in the end, especially going and get the extra goal, even down to 10 men showed what we're about. And we just got to make sure we keep those standards week in, week out. Well, congratulations, Frosty. I look forward to lots more memories from you on the pitch and well done, mate. No, I appreciate it. Thank you.